Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be going over support and resistance on this ticker named ODT. Uh, basically, it's going to be very basic information, so I hope this helps some people who may be new. Um, let's just go ahead and get started. So first off, we know that support is an area that pretty much is just holding up. Maybe there's some sellers, but there's a lot more buyers that continue to hold it up and it just cannot break down. So in this example, it looks like here at $25-ish is kind of the bottom of what that range was or actually held. So we're gonna say there's some support between $26 and $25 here from pretty much uh, this sideways action. And then we'll find some resistance up in this area. If you look, you'll see some wicks here. You got one wick here, there's a second one that's a little bit bigger, and a couple here. So we're going to say that this is probably where that resistance is most likely at just for the future so we'll know. So in this chart, pretty much we're channeling, we're going sideways, and we're going to break out of this resistance. What you'll find out in the, in the future in, in trading is that resistance normally becomes support once it's broken. So this is actually a really nice push, and it's right here at 30 bucks. $30 is a great psychological number. Um, if you don't know much about that, whole number is like $25, $30, $35, 45 50s, anything like that tends to be a little bit better um, at just holding as, as a resistance or even creating a support. It could be either one of them. So this actually gets a nice push up all the way to about, looks like 34 area here. And then it kind of kind of stops a little bit, gets a little sideways action again. So I'm just going to say that on this break, we're going to actually say 34 is another resistance that we're starting to fight. And we break out of this, and we go up to about 39. So just considering this is kind of broken, consolidated, broken upward, consolidated. And we got one more break here, all the way up to the 46.50 line, which is fantastic. This is a great move from $28 all the way to 46 Super happy about that. Um, if you look further on this chart, it just depends on kind of where you're taking a position to get in on this chart, but most likely, uh, let's just say you're in here at 36s and you were looking, hey, I wanna buy this dip and I wanna use this as my support range. I wanna say that 34 is my support and I wanna buy in as close as I can to this 34 support that way I'm having a lower risk. So maybe you buy 35s here and you get this nice spike up, you got a nice 10%, 20% gain off of this. And that's great. Basically what you're also looking at is there is some resistance from the previous lower high here at $42. So your first target is definitely in that area and you wanna be scaling out here. Don't have to scale out the whole thing because you don't know what's gonna break down later but you definitely need to take some profits after being up 20%. Life kind of goes on after this chart, and later on we actually do go back and uh, test previous support of $34, and unfortunately cannot hold. So what happens to this chart, it actually falls through a couple support zones, and that's why you have to know when to cut them. Maybe you bought this $35 or, $34 or off of 35 support, Risking off 34, you got to know when to sell it or when to scale out of it near that resistance coming up. And then coming back down, you know, worst case scenario, you can't let it go past your dip buy. You can't let it go past this 34. You should be watching level two. You should be looking at the insider news. You should be reading filings, things like that. It will help you kind of make that judgment call. Let's say you didn't take any part in this move whatsoever. And later on, you're actually, let's just say you're down here in this area. You're saying, okay, well, I've been watching this for a little while, and I'm starting to see that this has some support back down here at about, I don't know, $13, we'll say. And what we're noticing here, resistance is somewhere around, looks like about 1750s. Okay. So we want to get in as low as we can, close to this twelve ninety six slash thirteen dollars. You do have an opportunity here to get in at about thirteen fifty, and try to play off this sideways channel action, hoping for maybe a nice bounce back up to this resistance. 
you can scale out in this area or you can kind of wait and see if it's going to break back upward on this resistance line, and which it does. It actually makes a nice push later, breaks all the way up to 22s, consolidates under at 20s. Anytime you see this stuff happen, you got to be scaling, though. You're getting close to the next resistance. Scale a little bit. Take something off the table. Take profits. Always play smart. And um, just always be up that way. So $25 is where it previously had some support, right? Way back here on the left side. And now, later on, $25 is now resistance when it comes back up. Even though we broke through it here on February 8th, we could not hold $25. So even though it broke resistance, it did not become the support. So in this area, you just got to know that, hey, this isn't looking so hot. This is being weak, and we're probably going to get more downtrend, or at least we're going to consolidate a little longer, maybe off the, say, 2250 area. In this regard, it pretty much didn't hold anything. It just kind of sloped downward. It broke that support. It came all the way back down to 1750s. It got a little bit of a bounce back to about 1950s, and then it could not hold later on, and it actually dips way down here to $5. So this is just a really good example of support and resistance lines and just giving you an overview of kind of how you can play these or what you should be looking for. You should always be going uh, back and looking left to make sure you have a better idea of how you should play them and what is significant and when to get out of these plays. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll come back with another video very soon. See you on the next one. Thanks.